Burnett and welcome back to the Super Castlevania 4 playthrough. And it looks like we're continuing through the game of life. Gotta figure out if I'm gonna have kids, buy a car, a house, and be rich, or get killed by Dracula's minions and fail. Let's see what happens this time. Okay, this is stage 7, and I'm immediately greeted at the door by some crazy walking suit of armor. This is another return enemy from the NES games. It looks like we've arrived at the Castlevania Public Library, so everyone get out your library cards because we're going to completely change gears to study. <laughs> yeah, okay, never mind. I think I'll just continue killing monsters instead. That sounds a lot more entertaining. This is like Beauty and the Beast. It's like that giant library in that wing of the castle. I guess that makes me bell. So, I take it these guys are people who used to work at the library and are now dead and trying to kill me. Guess I better make sure I don't have any late library books. Obviously Dracula's minions don't read, but apparently Dracula does need these books around for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they do read. Maybe they're just protectors of the sacred texts within the Castlevania public library. Look, the first thing I think when I'm in a library is Axe Knights and Ghost Demons. Maybe you do. I don't know. Well, let's get through this part of the level and see if I can't just borrow a damn library book without issue. Alright, finally got my boomerangs back. Woo! Now just need to build up my arsenal. <laughs> Glad this library can properly weaponize me. Okay, I'm just gonna moonwalk down these stairs and moving on. Okay, I'm just gonna take a leap of faith here and landed it! Haha, <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Alright, made it down and Ah damn book! <laughs> well, I made it almost unscathed. That's how it's done, son. Okay, I've reached the bottom floor of this library. I'm just gonna kill these armored librarians because Simon Belmont don't read. <laughs> okay, time to kill that second axe knight the most bravest way possible. Check out the jittering book in the background. It's like they only had enough memory to do just that. Mind-blowing. Okay, just gotta kill this guy and... Yeah! <laughs> True power! He dies after bumping into my Morningstar spike a bunch of times. That will kill anything. Now look at this, we have a bunch of floating book platforms. <laughs> Castlevania, never short on the wacky platforms. Just floating around by some paranormal means. It's kind of like in Ghostbusters when those books are flying around the library, except that I'm trusting these books to carry me to safety while attempting to successfully thwart these red skeletons. And barely making these damn jumps. I wonder what books these are. Harry Potter? Lord of the Rings? Game of Thrones? Who knows? Well, whatever. Now we're in some sort of art museum or something. I don't know, it looks kind of like Dracula's Man Cave. I mean, look, you got some crossbow up there, some edgy yard on the walls, and problems with bats, too. <laughs> living paintings. Well, look out! Crumbling statues. Terrifying. I just about peed my pants. But hey, at least I got some wall meat. Score! I always love collections of skulls and bone art on my walls. At least I got my double shot back. Oh yay, look. More Axe Knights. Except that these Axe Knights are the protectors of the man cave. Apparently. It doesn't matter anyway, because I'm here to mess the place up. Come back here. Okay. Let's see what kind of trouble I can get myself into down here. Alright. Seems pretty straightforward. And whoa, hey! Damn bats! And that weird floor thing, too. Yeah, eat it, Axe Knight. Okay. A little more careful this time. I'm gonna make sure these bats don't cheap shot me. All right, crosses to the rescue. Eat that axe face. Oh, didn't I already kill you? Damn regenerating enemies. Gets kind of annoying. Just like these ones, oh crap. Whew, that could have been bad. Yes, I got my triple shot back. D damn you, you clubbing bastard. Get away. There. I just need to kill that Resident Evil zombie dog up there. There we go. You're next, you clubbing bastard. Come here. Yeah, that's right. Who needs multiple paintings like this? Oh crap, what the hell's that worm? Looks like some sort of enemy from Gradius made its way into this game. It's called the Fireworm, by the way. Yes, very uninspired. 
but at least it's easy to defeat by just walking away from it. <laughs> and the man cave continues. Whoops. Oh, gotta go back down. Well, this part looks more like a basement than anything. In fact, this looks nothing like a library anymore. I guess it's really more of a museum basement archive of some sort. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Not sure what the developers were trying to go for in terms of design. It's kind of like a bunch of stuff like weapons enclosed in cases. I'm surprised the weapons aren't trying to attack me considering everything including the floor and these statues are trying to. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get these last candles and then I'm gonna get out of Dracula's rumpus room. Okay, last part of the level before the boss and I'm trapped between two Axe Knights. The good thing is that this is way easier to get past in this game. Again, if this were the older games, it would be three Axe Knights and a bunch of Medusa heads flying around and me flailing around like a chicken with its head cut off while losing all my energy. <laughs> Alright, candle meat! Now I'm ready to take on anything. Alright, let's continue on here towards the boss. Oh, look at this. Behold, the ultimate collectible. <laughs> this giant museum piece is called Sir Grackle and uh, da! He's like, your library books are late. <laughs> Oh man, he's serious now. He pulled out his sword. That doesn't matter because he's dead. And that's how you break Dracula's collectibles. All right, I'm just gonna pose here and done. Okay, that's another episode. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like or subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next one.